David Berlin with ZDNet. I'm coming to you from Interop on the west side of Manhattan at the Jacob Javits Center. And you know, back in the old days when I was an IT guy and I wanted to put a server in my server room, I had to buy this big honking box. Well, times are changing because guess what? In my hand here is also a server. Look at the size of this, very tiny. It's from Plat Home, and this is a Linux server. Standing with me to tell me a little bit about this and another product that the company offers is Martin Kilman. He's a spokesperson Hello. for the company. So here, I'm going to hand this over to you, and you. Uh, just tell us a little bit about the features of this yeah. tiny server you've got here. It's a, uh, as you already said, it's a Linux server. It has a uh, 266 megahertz uh, power PC in it, and uh, you can uh, plug it into your network with these 100 MB uh, Ethernet ports. Has mm -hmm. a serial port if you need to control devices. So it has two network ports. Two network ports. So you can route your network traffic over it. Use it for network monitoring or as a firewall. Fire firewall. Okay. Um, and, and, they, and it's got a uh, serial port on it, so what, do you, what would you plug into that? Well, uh, we're using these, for example, to control uh, security cameras or f smoke detectors in buildings. Mm -hmm. I mean, these are for industrial use. They're heat resistant and smoke resistant, so you can just put them in, into, your, into the wall in, in the building and uh, it will uh, control your devices. There. Okay, and uh, what about storage? Is there any storage in this box? Yeah, um, if we would open it, I could show you there is a compact flash card uh, slot in there, so uh, you can just put a compact flash card in, load your appliance uh, on it, and it will run it. Okay, so as much memory or storage as you need, you have to add your own compact flash card to this Exactly. Device. They go up to 8 gigabytes at the moment. Mm -hmm. That should be enough for most appliances. Now, what about if I want to load my own software into this? Now, you said, it, first of all, it's Linux-based. What, what version of Linux is running in here? Uh, we're using SSD Linux. It's a distribution that our company developed for this uh, appliance mm -hmm. to fit into the flash ROM. But uh, you can also run these with Debian or NetBSD if you want to. NetBSD, okay. Uh, and how much room is left over? for your own applications if you uh, want to run your own app on it's, this? It's uh, just two megabytes, but uh, if you add the compact flash card. And in no terms problem. of the distributions, are there any applications that are in here? For example, is there a web server in here, or is there? Uh, do you have IP chains? The, the, uh, the IP chains is on, but a uh, web server, you would have to add it yourself. Right, IP chains for firewalling, of course. Exactly. Right. Okay, now, you have another device in your hand, so yes. show us that one. I'll take this away from you so you can use that. This is uh, our new model. It runs a 400 megahertz CPU, and uh, we have added gigabit Ethernet. Uh, and so for your faster networks, it's called the Open Microserver. And uh, it also has power over Ethernet functionality to reduce your cables. Power over Ethernet, so you don't need a separate charger exactly. or the, a plug or whatever. You know, yes. the, the, so this, this other one over here doesn't have that capability? Here. Not yet. Okay. And so different, the difference between these two devices primarily in the area of the uh, power over Ethernet. Uh, yes. what, how fast are the ports on this one? Uh, gigabit Ethernet. And the other one? Uh, just 100 Mbit Ethernet. Okay, so there's a difference in, yes. in what the ports can do. Yes. You still have uh, two ports here. We have three ports. Okay. Uh, so you have an extra port if you want to run a dedicated line to administer the mm -hmm. server. If you don't want to run the admin administration. And what about plugging in a camera or something like exactly, that? Exactly, you can do that too. And this one also has a USB 2.0 uh, for, for example, external hard drives or some sticks. Oh, USB. so you can put more storage on this because exactly. of these USB ports. E externally. But um, we didn't put in a fan or a hard drive, so these are highly reliable. They won't break down. They run for years anywhere. Can you add a compact flash to this guy as Not, well? But Not that's why we have the USB ports. Not yet. Okay. All right. So uh, you got Linux, the same operating systems running exactly, on this one. Exactly. It's the same operating system. Okay. And so it's faster, both in terms of the processor. Exactly. The Ethernet port supports power yes. over Ethernet, but you can't add storage inside. You have but to add it externally through the exactly. USB 2.0 ports. That's it. Hey, Martin. Well, uh, very. Best of luck with you at the show Thank here. Thank you very uh, much. Yeah, cool it's been running great for us so far. Okay, good luck. Thank you. According to Kilman, the smaller of the two servers cost $400. The larger one here, the newer one with the bigger processor and the faster networking ports, $500. If you want more information about them, you can go to www.plathome.com. That's P L A T H O M E.com. For ZDNet at Interop in the Javits Center on the west side of Manhattan, I'm David Berlin.